What's up guys, it's Carlos. Welcome back to another video today. Like you guys saw up on the title, I am finally doing an update on my degenerative disc disease because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's been about maybe two and a half years since the last update that I made and uh, there's been a lot of changes, most of them positive, and I know I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys to make another update video and I promise that it has been on my back burner to do so. I just, there was no motivation, there was no inspiration for me to make videos. I know you guys are all out there waiting for them and that should be enough inspiration, but I'm just, you know, being honest and vulnerable with you guys. So I hope you guys understand that with everything else that I have been, as far as everything that's been going on that I've explained in the last recent past videos. So the way I want to break down the update for you guys is I want to show you guys what I go through on a morning to nightly basis, all the way from the point I wake up to the point I go to bed. And I'm not gonna be able to show you guys everything that goes on at work or everything that goes on at the gym, but I'm gonna try my best to make this a video that's easy to see, cool to understand, and fun to watch. And hopefully you gain some inspiration from it as far as those of you that have degenerative disc disease. So every morning when I wake up, I either have to sleep on my side or on my stomach. Usually I don't sleep on my back too much because that can give me a little pain. And um, as you guys can see right here, I like to sleep with a pillow in between my legs or a pillow underneath my pelvis. That really helps take a lot of the pressure off my low back. So right after I get out of bed, I'll usually go to the bathroom, do my bathroom routines and jump into the shower. While I'm in the shower, I like to sit, not sit, but stand in the shower for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I really just put the water as hot as I can to loosen those low back muscles. And I have the shower head that I can direct to my low back and I'll just stand there and let it hit me until it loosens up a little bit. Right after that is usually when I start getting ready for work. Now while I'm getting ready for work, I'm usually thinking about my day, how my back's feeling, how much medication do I need to bring with me for that day, is my back feeling a little swollen that day, but for the most part, my back's been doing pretty good. Um, it was very scary, it was very intimidating when I first started working at the grocery store because like many of you that have been keeping up with my videos, when I started with uh, the grocery store that I work at, my back was... Um, it was good, but I was still petrified. I was terrified of lifting anything heavy, lifting uh, quick, lifting uh, uh, odd objects, you know, like the boxes that I would mention in other videos that I've made. But as time went on, I'm assuming either my back got a, a little more uh, calcified or I just got stronger. I really don't know to tell you guys. But what I can say about that is that with time, it has gotten better. I will say as well though that I still have those bad days. Guys that keep up with my videos, I've posted those bad days. Um, not all the bad days, but just one of the bad days that I had. I posted it on live stream just so that you guys could see that, you know, I'm not Superman. I just, you know, have come to the realization that I'm the only person that can count on myself and no one's gonna be there to help me. So that mentality has really helped me to push myself forward. Inclusively, if you guys don't remember, I got that tattoo that says, love, pain, change your mindset. That's really how I live my life now, guys. And um, although some days do suck, some days I'm taking a whole lot of medication and it's scary. But at the end of the day, I have to remind myself that I'm going for a quality of life, not so much the quantity of life, which I keep preaching to you guys as well with degenerative disc disease, because at the end of the day, who wants to spend, you know, all their days, the majority of their life laying in bed, just crying and moaning. That's not a life I, I really want. I prefer, you know, to go through the struggle of taking the meds when I need them. I don't take them all the time but they do allow me to be able to continue to do my work, to be able to progress through the gym. Since we're on the gym topic right now, there's some things I can do, there's some things I can do at the gym that I just completely stay away from. For one, I can't do squats anymore. Squats with the barbell on my, on my back, that's a no-go anymore. Not only because of my low back, uh, but also because recently, if you guys have been watching the, the videos or if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had ankle surgery. So my ankle, my right ankle is very stiff now versus what it once was, and I lost a lot of the mobility within that ankle. Um, it's not something that holds me back. I still go to the gym, I can still train. Um, I found other ways, other exercises that I can do, like the leg press, leg extension, leg curls. I do add the Romanian deadlifts. Now I will say this, guys. 
you have to figure out what works for you and what doesn't because that's a very big key thing that I have come to find within the years of living with DDD since I was 26, I'm now 31 and a half. One of the key things that I have found is that some movements will give some people with DDD flare-ups versus some people may do those movements with DDD and they get no flare-ups from the movements. That's one of the unique beautiful things about the human body is that although we're so alike, we're vastly different with the ways that our body adjusts to different things. As far as my physique goes, I did drop to about 165, then I went up to about 170 and now I'm sitting right around below 180 which is not a place I want to be. I've actually have given my gold starting today if I'm being honest that I want to reduce back to about the 170 range because that's where my body feels its happiest. That's where I feel my healthiest and right now I've been eating a lot of junk. If you guys follow me I like to eat chips and I've been eating a ton of hot Cheetos, Fritos, you name it, I've probably been eating those chips. Because <laughs> I've been putting on some bad weight around the midsection and I mean, it might not seem a lot to you, but one thing I also always preach is that you are your biggest competitor within yourself, if that makes sense. But what I'm trying to say is, is a cliche, um, I guess, quote that's been out there for ages as far as I know, is that the person staring at you back in the mirror, that's your biggest competition. So we are all ourselves our biggest critiques. And um, I'm always striving to become better. I look at myself in the mirror probably too much, but it's something that keeps me going on a daily basis because I honestly believe that happiness doesn't necessarily come from material things, from money, from things I've explained in the videos past. But honestly, my belief and from everything that I've gone through is that true happiness comes from the progression within your own life. That can be within anything. That can be in religion, that can be at the gym, that can be in your studies, in anything in your work. But as long as you continue to progress within life, that is true happiness to me. And that is how I live my life too. Now, Ugh, black coffee. So to recap guys, my back's doing a lot better. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys a physique update. Even though you guys have seen my physique throughout this video, but not in detail. So let me go ahead and run through that real quick for you guys. So as far as my physique, like I was saying, I'm weighing in right below 180. So I'm about 178, possibly 175 when I wake up. But right now I just had a full meal. So I'm gonna try and suck it in a little bit for you guys. <laughs> and show you guys where I'm at currently. So physique wise, I feel pretty good about where my physique's at. And I get a lot of questions from you guys on Instagram. Feel free if you haven't already, for those of you that have degenerative disc disease or just wanna follow me on a daily basis, I post a lot on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and post my name somewhere right here along the screen. And I usually post there at least once a day. I will say this though, that from making this video to it being released, I have decided to go dark for the next maybe two weeks on Instagram and all social medias other than YouTube because I'm trying to reform my life. It's gotten a little bit too out of hand to where I'm watching way too much TV. I'm not getting my things done that I need to and all I'm doing is literally going to work, sleeping, and the gym and that's it. And I have to push forward, why? Because I hold myself to that standard but I also push that on my channel to you guys to push beyond the limits of your own bodies. So how am I going to be an example for all of you guys that are going through tough times with DDD if I can't keep myself onto my own standards? So with that guys, I think I covered everything as far as how my back's doing with DDD. If you guys want more updates, like I was saying, follow me on Instagram. I do answer my DMs on Instagram a lot quicker than I answer my comments on YouTube. And if I missed anything from this video that I didn't, necessarily respond to a question that you had please feel free to reach out to me and i usually respond within 24 hours but with that being said guys 
Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. And if you haven't already, make sure and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the videos I sporadically upload. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.